what better way to end the year than with one final bot games challenge? So what we've decided to do is we are doing a bot games collab edition, and this is a special edition. We're gonna be doing a single challenge page for this, and we've partnered with Pixie Bricks. And with Pixie Bricks, we're gonna show how the integration with Automation Anywhere and Pixie Bricks can work to enable your users with embedded automation capabilities. And so we've designed this challenge that we've called the Swivel Chair Workflow Processing Challenge. I'm gonna walk through exactly how this works so you know what you're getting yourself into, you know how to set this up, and uh, you'll be able to ideally solve this challenge. So let's jump right in. In this challenge, what we're dealing with is Swivel Chair Inc.'s managed clients. And what we need to do is move some data from their legacy workflow application to their more modern workflow interface. And so what happens is we have a bunch of transactions that are showing up in this legacy application portal. Let's launch that real quick and take a look. I've got the uh, username and password stored on my clipboard here. So we'll put that in. Now, I can see a bunch of transactions that are showing up here. If I click view, this is all of the transaction detail. What I need to do for this challenge is essentially take all of this transaction data and move it over to this more modern web portal. So I'm gonna fill in again, it's, it's the same uh, login details for each. I'll put in a 481 here. I'll explain that in just a second. And then what I'm gonna do is basically need to add those cases into this more modern portal. Now, this is a little bit different than our previous challenges. Previously, we wanted everything to go as blazingly fast as possible. We were capturing your time and we we're capturing your accuracy. We're doing things a little bit different here. In this one, we are not capturing your time because the concept that we want you to learn is how to build embedded automation experiences. And so when I click view here, what I can do is actually use Pixie Bricks to solve this particular challenge. And I might decide to add a button here. I might add a side panel that comes out. And I can use Pixie Bricks to essentially extract all of this data from this table. I can have that data sent to an automation and the automation can then launch this modern portal, do the login, and then start to add all of my cases. And the idea for this kind of workflow is that I would create this Pixie Bricks button or this brick that they call it, and I'd be able to publish that to a set of users. And those users could essentially see that button or see that side panel in their user interface. And that would enable them to invoke a bot on demand. That bot would then run on an unattended runner, and from their perspective, the transaction is handled, right? And so if we think about a typical kind of swivel chair use case, Someone is essentially taking data from this legacy looking, no CSS kind of portal and moving it into another application. And when you're doing that, you know, usually you're putting this one over on another screen and you're gonna try and go back and forth to like, all right, what was the case ID? And you might start typing it. And then sometimes you might start going like the copy and paste route. But inevitably, you're going to you know, mess up this kind of scenario. And so what we wanna demonstrate here is how you can use Pixie Bricks to essentially create these embedded experiences. So again, I will reiterate, we are not tracking your time on this one. Everyone's gonna get a time of 10 seconds. What we are tracking though is your accuracy. Now, for this uh, exercise to work properly, I wanna talk about this session ID. When you load this page for the first time, or any time, I should say, you're going to get this submission ID. And this submission ID is essentially tying together the challenge page plus the modern app plus the legacy app. Because every time you load this legacy app, it's gonna show you slightly different data. So you can see here that my submission ID is in sync. When I log in to this modern web portal, let me go back here so I can re-log in. It's also asking for that session ID. I need to make sure that either through Pixie Bricks or through some other method, ideally you're gonna do this through the Pixie Bricks extension, you are going to send that data to your login, so your bot would be doing this, your bot would receive that data, your bot would do the login, and then your bot would be able to start adding the data to that form, okay? Now, as much as we're saying, oh, this is a Pixie Bricks thing, this is actually included as Ari embedded extensions. And so we've got some instructions here. I'll share this link below with exactly how you can get this set up in your environment 
This is all using Community Edition, so we'll show you exactly how to get that Pixiebricks extension installed. Again, it's included with RE Embedded Extensions, and you'll be able to set this up and uh, get it working. We've also got a link here to the Pixiebricks Quick Start Guide. I know that this is probably a brand new concept for many of you. We've done a couple live streams uh, on this with the Pixiebricks team, so you can check out those YouTube videos. You can also look at their Quick Start Guide. They even have a certification process. So if you find that this is something you really like and you want to go through and get certified, uh, that's a great option as well. So again, what I'll say to uh, cap this up is as you finish going through and you've, you know, whatever, moved all of this data from the legacy app to the more modern app, you'll come back here, you'll hit validate, and that's where we're going to validate your submission. And we're going to say, hey, did you get the transaction count right? What's your accuracy? When you go to claim your certificate, like you've done for the other bot games challenges, you will get a time of 10 seconds. Everyone has a time of 10 seconds. So this one is not about speed. This is all about how to figure out how to use these already embedded extensions to create automation solutions where you can push this and publish this out to users so that they can essentially invoke bots or work side by side with automations whenever they need to on demand. Okay. So, Today's Monday, the challenge page has gone live right now. We've got a link in the description below so you can see all of that. The following Thursday, we'll be doing a live stream where we'll be showing exactly how to solve this. I'll be teaming up with Todd Schiller from Pixie Bricks. I'm gonna show how to do the bot build component of it. Todd's gonna show some tips on how to do the Pixie Bricks component, how to set that up, and some different options for how you can extract data from a page and pass that over to an automation or to an RE process, all right? So have fun with this one. I know this is a bit different than our previous challenges, but this is a really fun way to use this RE embedded extensions, Pixie Bricks powered experience. And I'm really excited for you guys to try this out. I geek out on this technology. I think it's so cool to be able to add a button to a page that I don't actually own the source code for. And that's exactly what you'll be doing in this challenge. All right, so good luck with this one. And I'll see you uh, later this week as we do our tutorial. Go be great. <laughs>